Hey everyone, happy Memorial Day weekend. Um, this is Mike Chi, I'm here to, today to test the RGB version of my hat. Not connected to a PVM or BVM, but a VGA monitor. So I've got a 15, uh, 15 pin VGA adapter connected to the BNC outputs, uh, red, green, blue, plus horizontal and vertical sync. I'm using this adapter um, that splits one VGA input into two VGA outputs from Radio Shack because it seems that this um, Apple monitor I bought doesn't really like the sync output voltages from the hat. I need to, dig I need to figure out why that is. Um, the LCD seems to take it just fine directly, but the, this Apple CRT I found seems to want uh, a different voltage level. So I'll dig into that later. But what's really nice is that the output from the RGB hat is just super sharp. I mean, look at that. This is 1024 by 768. These are perfect, like these lines are perfectly rendered. There isn't any noise, no ringing, um, just a beautiful signal. If you look at, look at that, that is just really nice too. All these colors, no banding artifacts. This, I have to say this Apple monitor, besides the fact uh, that it doesn't want to take the input from, uh, from directly from the hat is just a, a really nice screen, 21 inches. Anyways, the reason why I want to do this today is because I want to see if I can get the um, frame doubled uh, 240p to work well directly from the Raspberry Pi. That way you can get a super sharp image without needing to buy a expensive BVM. Um, so let's see if we, we can get that to work. Okay, and everything seems to be working. Um, what you're looking at here, I'm just getting beat up, but it doesn't matter. What you're looking at here isn't uh, four to a 480p with fake scan lines. This computer CRT is actually running at 200, 240p, um, just with the frame rate doubled to 120 hertz from 60 hertz, so that it's maintaining the 31.5 kilohertz scan rate. Everything just looks fantastic. Um, computer monitors are obviously much sharper than, uh, the, than your average TV. Um, so for your scanline junkies, this is about as good as it gets. Although personally, it's uh, the scanlines are probably a little bit rough for my tastes. The only drawback that I've seen with this approach is that running at 240, uh, sorry, running at 120 hertz actually makes the image more jerky than uh, running at 60 hertz, which is kind of counterintuitive. Now, what we can do is use black frame insertion. Um, to basically make one half the frames black, which drops the um, effective frame rate back down to 60 hertz, and that's actually much smoother, which is quite a bit counterintuitive. The problem though with that approach is that, like fake scan lines, because you're throwing away half the energy, your image dims considerably. One of the reasons why I really like the, uh, the, uh, the 120 hertz approach is that I got a nice bright image plus scan lines at the same time. So that's something for further investigation. But so far, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this weekend project. I have the um, RGB hat connected to the VGA up to this very high-end computer monitor, which I scored for super cheap. And the reason I'm playing with this is because I got sick of trying to find a good quality BVM. Um, and I figured, hey, you know, computer monitors are super sharp. Let's see if we can get that working. And it does. Although, like I said, the problem that I'm still struggling with is how to get smooth motion at 120 hertz. So if I figure anything out, I'll let you guys know. Um, I'll also post the, the, um, the HDMI timings that I'm using in the comments below. So if you guys have a computer monitor and have a VGA adapter, um, a GERT 666, or if you have one of my RGB hats and a BNC to VGA, you can give this a shot. I'm not sure, but I imagine you could probably also get this working with the built-in HDMI port for the Raspberry Pi um, if you... Uh, if you did the custom HDMI timing there, although I haven't tried that. And um, of course, this technique also works on a computer. So you could use uh, custom resolution uh, utility, CRU, to generate a custom timing uh, mode so that you can run uh, run your computer, have your computer's graphics card output 240p at, a, at 120 hertz. I don't like that approach as much because even though the computer is quite a bit more powerful, it's, uh, it's a bit clumsier. You have too many things going on at the same time especially if you have multiple monitors, was a pain in the ass to get um, RetroArch to output on the right screen. Personally, I, I prefer the Raspberry Pi approach because it's nice, simple, um, self-contained. 
So hopefully you guys found this interesting. If I have any news um, or any progress in solving the motion jerk, I will post an updated video. Thank you. Oh, just FYI, I'm pretty sure I figured out why this monitor here would not sync directly with the Raspberry Pi. Um, just measuring the sync output from this video adapter, uh, video splitter, which probably has its own internal buffers. It seems like the sync voltage levels go from zero to five volts, whereas um, the Raspberry Pi, its maximum output is 3.3 volts. So I'm guessing our friend here is just a bit picky with the sync voltages. Um, I'm guessing probably because it was designed to work specifically with a uh, one of the old uh, Macintoshes. It's a really nice monitor. The problem is it just there aren't really any controls. It's designed to be controlled from the uh, from the Mac using some sort of software utility. Uh, so that's a bit annoying. But other than that, it's a beautiful monitor. Uh, probably one of the best Trinitrons I've ever seen. On the other hand, this cheap LCD here doesn't seem to complain about the voltage levels at all. I'm guessing probably most monitors monitors aren't going to be so picky. But if you have the problem, at least my solution was to just get this cheap VGA splitter, which of course rebuffers the signals and generates the right voltage levels. So if that's helpful to you, that's that's great. And thanks again for watching. Here's another update for you guys. I figured out the problem. Um, it's actually a really easy solution. Just go into the menu and go to settings, video, and all you gotta do is change this line, vertical sync swap interval from one to two if you're, if you're running at 120 hertz and that makes everything smooth. That, um, that fixed the, uh, the, jerk, uh, the jerky image I had earlier and now everything is, uh, is just about perfect. In real life, if I'm looking at it really carefully, it is true that at 120 hertz, the image is a little bit smoother than, uh, than what you would expect. So some people would consider, consider this to be motion blur, but to me, uh, to be honest, to me, I, I, it doesn't really bother me. It looks quite good. Um, the main thing is that there isn't any, any skip frames or, or jerky motion. That's, that's what's really annoying. So overall, I have to say I'm pretty happy with the setup now. Um, I think I'll set up another gaming station with a super sharp CRT. Um, and hopefully this at least makes me forget about trying to find a PVM for the time being.